That was crazy with the parking brake. Yes, yes. Okay, and Man, this is your machine. You, you should put the know. parking brake on. So what? You should know, like, hey, it doesn't start with the parking brake. Well, who puts the parking brake on while they're riding it? Because when I was down like that, waiting for you guys to get your together, I kept rolling down backwards. And I'm like, I don't want to get stuck in the mud. So I'm like, if I put my parking Dude, brake on, you messed up. You know, the parking brake. Yeah. What's the up, parking guys? Parking brakes are not for the. Okay, go yeah. ahead. What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dan. This is Enrique. We're always complaining that it's cold out. We hate Chicago. Well, he doesn't, but we're always complaining. No, I oh, hate hey, Chicago. Real fast, I, listen, real fast. I hate Chicago and I hate Illinois. What do you think about these like wheels? The taxes, these wheels on your truck. These wheels like, on your truck. What, what do I care about the truck wheels, dude? Those wheels, because we're doing wheels on your truck. What do you think about? You're telling me that for the last year we haven't done anything. All right. Okay, I don't like Chicago. I don't like Illinois. I like the winter though. Okay, I don't, but I love spring it went from like winter to summer here it's like 90 degrees and my ac went out so we're sweating but you guys we got something super exciting today it's the ego 52 inch triple blade mower and didn't we do another ego mower yes, what's four, the difference i believe it was a 42. the so difference is the, mainly the blade right the size this is for a bigger property uh you know you're gonna have up to two acres of runtime. Actually, I'm gonna, no. You're gonna have unlimited runtime, right? Because if you have stuff on chargers, you just keep swapping batteries. Yeah, it's expensive to swap batteries, but you gotta look back. All these mower companies now, they're mower companies. They're not battery companies. Ego was a battery company that turned, a tool manufacturer bat slash battery company that turned into this you know, outdoor power equipment. But they started it like Tesla did, from the ground up. Hey, let's not look at the designs out there. Let's just design something like we would. And that's where they come up with all this stuff. And I know they weren't first out with the electric zero turn, but this is the best one. I mean, don't you think? We've tested all of them. I mean, I mean, we haven't tested all of them, but we've tested most of them. And just the features, comfort, and cut of this is amazing. What do you think? I agree 100%, man. Dude, ever since Ego came out in 2014, I think they've been nailing it. I love this. I'm not a... Some of the zero turns or core battery powered lawnmowers we've tried in the past, I haven't been huge fans of, you know what I mean? Because it still has that little bit of cheapness to it. I don't feel like with this, this feels to me quality. I like the ride. Of course, you got, you know, you don't take care of your yard, so it's a bumpy yard, and I think it does pretty good on that. The cut quality is good. I like how these have some feedback to it. They're not too easy. They've got a little bit of tension. I like that. Easy to use. You got a nice readout display right here. And for me, I'm six foot. There's plenty enough room right here. So Yeah, it definitely has a lot of adjustability compared to other mowers. And you guys, you can't really test these when you go. That's why I'm just trying to be as thorough as possible. Test them where you go where? If you go to Lowe's, you can't get on this and go oh, mow the lawn. Gotcha. Look how far it goes back and then forward if I'm a shorty, you know. And these bars are also adjustable. So, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Right here in the center, do you see that, Zach? That's your adjustment for the suspension. So, if you do have a, you know, person that doesn't take care of their yard, like I guess I do, you'd want it on the soft so you can bounce through those bumps. But when you go to Eric's pristine golf course, you know, you just put it on firm because it's like... Dude, it's, it's like flat it's like as can be, man, I'm there. you. Dude, it's nice. No. You gotta take a shot of my backyard. <laughs> Did, yeah, one. right? Yeah, Zach, you stop by Eric, take a shot. Triple motors, you guys, so that's gonna enhance your cut and it's gonna keep- Triple, yeah, triple motors. Yeah, and it's going to give you that 52 inch blade. And what I do like is this right here, the uh, chute. I haven't broke it. And the side discharge? Yeah, but I haven't broke it. Usually I break them all the time because I always go close to my pole because I want a close cut on this side if I happen to be that way. Yeah, but why don't you just go around and go on that side? Because, dude, I, I'm not the greatest lawnmower. I can't do straight lines. I don't do patterns. I just don't do any of that. I just, yeah. I've tried. How many of you guys have tried to do straight patterns and you can't? And then, you know, Maybe if your the landscaper's so bumpy, come. you could do it nice and easy. Yeah, that's you know what, what I'm thinking. thinking. That's dude, you I'm should thinking. take it over to the golf course. Tell me you want to do the greens for them. Yes, yes. I would loan it to them. Um, basically, you guys, you have a big uh, container here that holds your phone. Also has a USB charging port. So let's say, like this, nice. yeah, especially if you listen to music, something like that. It's magnet. Magnet closes it, which you is got cool. a cup holder right there for your GoPro. Yep, and two your cup water. holders. All your batteries are here, you guys. I think we have ten and a half. Twelves. Twelves. Yeah. 
So depending, I can run these on two of them. I can run these on the smaller batteries. So does it change the power yeah, or just the length time. of time? Run, run time, time. Okay. yeah, run time. And you guys, you can extend your run time depending on your property. I mean, this thing is power. You gotta remember, it's not gas, so it has torque. It's electric motors. So it's not gonna bog down like your typical gas one would. I mean, yeah, you can bog it down, but- Wait, this isn't gas? No. Where did I put the diesel in then? Oh, you don't. Oh, man. You, you drink it. Over here, you guys, they have another um, place to put your phone, which is cool. I like that. I put my phone there. Quick tip, though, put your phone in upside down because all the grass and dust get on the top. So if I put it here, boom, I got no problem. I did put it in there one time, and it actually squeezed these two buttons, and I had my headphones on, and I heard a dispatcher say 911. Oh, you serious? Yeah, and I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, my God, my, my mower must have dialed you because I had it. Sorry, I meant to dial 911. That's what I said. She's like, you know what she told me? Thank God. Thank, thank you for not hanging up because we would have to send someone. Yeah. Yeah. So now you know. Um, right here, you're you guys. In, you're in the know. In the oh, know. you can tow stuff, huh? You could tow stuff. Yeah, it's tow rated. Uh, you could do your little garden cart, your little aerator, stuff like that. This right here is another accessory system. You pop that off, it, it adds to their bagging system. I don't know if they have a bagging system out for the 40 or for the 52 yet. Here's your control. So the other one's not interchangeable. Right. You can't take that bag and system to this bag, this one. They said no. Okay. I feel like you could, but I guess not. Um, you also have another option. Not only do you have a full control panel here, which we'll go through in a second, but you also have just your easy sight gauges. Pretty much the same ones that are on the battery right there, right? And then last but not least, we have a parking brake, right? What do we know about the parking brake, Eric? It's easy to use with, the, oh, what's happening over there? Yeah. Yeah, so once the parking brake's on, you cannot start it. So we had a little discussion about it because we thought maybe we were on a hill we couldn't start it with or whatever it was. Um, my first time using it, I didn't know you I'm on a hill, I put it on a parking brake, I think, okay. Yeah, then he whatever. calls me, he says, it's not going, it's not going, so we're over there for 10 minutes trying to get it to go. I'm like, what's going on? And we look, and the parking brake was on. But I guess that's my fault. It's, you know, it's my yard. My yard well, it's because your yard is not smooth. I know, that's why. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you exactly. had a smooth yard, all these problems would go away. Exactly. These come up, you guys, if you have wider arms, whatever you want. You know, this is a great mower, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I like the one-handed adjustment for the Yeah. Jack. And it's very, uh, it feels easy to move up and yeah, down. Yeah, I mean, pretty like much all mowers have that. No, I know, but I've had other mowers where it's just you feel like you're fighting it to go up and down. It's smooth. You know what they did a really good job, too, is minimal rattling. Yes, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what? Because usually on your Good gas call. ones rattle, you just don't hear it because of the engine. So when they first started manufacturing, not Ego per se, but when they started bringing electric lawnmowers out, everybody was complaining that they rattle. Because they just took regular lawnmowers and put an electric motor in it. But this is, like I said, designed from the ground up. It's one of the, the top, if not the top mower. On the side there, you have your wash port, so you're able to wash. You got one over there? You yeah, right oh, there's there. one on this side too. Oh, there is? Okay, yeah. so dual wash ports. Again, here's your wash port tip. If you're gonna use it, you better use it every single time. Just start the mower, plug it in, let it run for 10 minutes a side, five minutes a side, every time you mow. So when you hook it up and you use it, do you put the blades on or yes. they off? The blades end? are okay. on. Yeah, because okay. it creates like all kinds of turbulence up in there. That okay. Grows, you know? Um, but if you do it like once a month, you're just, all you're doing is gonna create rust. This is, I think, believe this is a steel deck. Yeah. It's a fabricated deck too. It doesn't look stamped, right? And what's the difference between fabricated and stamped? Uh, stamped is just like a yeah, you know, fabricated. Stamped is just like a big stamp, like a car door. Uh -huh. Those things are just cheap, flimsy. Uh, fabricated is the actual welders welding it on a jig. And what's the advantage of strength? Strength, okay. Yeah, strength. Thicker steel, you know. Um, Why? Because you can't use a real thick steel with stamped. Well, not really, no. I mean, imagine could you stamp like. I don't know what the steel thickness is here, but... Well, I mean hydraulics, so I don't know. What's hydraulic? Well, when you stamp something, you know? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess Eric's an expert stamper. I'm not. That's what I'm asking. I don't know the first thing about it. All right, let's close this out. I'll show you guys the power thing inside, and we'll close it out. Cool. All right, let's go inside. And that's it. And there you go. All right, so any of your batteries work. Here's a five amp power that I use on my weed whip. And it'll just kick in and start charging too. So this thing's also good. I used it in the winter to charge all my equipment for my snow blower. I just put it on here because it charges at once. Yeah, you got like a, yeah. Does it charge every battery at one time? Yeah, they're all okay, charging cool. at the same time. That's cool. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.